Time for my first backpacking trip in more than a year. It's the 4th of July. Today, we're headed up to Boost Pass. I'm gonna try to make it all the way to Lake Basin today and then we'll be visiting the Dumbbell Lakes. We have sunrise. Not quite yet to the first crossing. Just passed a couple other guys who've been out for five days. This looks a little formidable. But that's why I bring the sandals. Okay, crossing complete. Boots back on. Feet slowly warming back up. Time to keep moving. Almost a second crossing. Making fairly decent time. Love that shot. Passing by Camp 6. Making pretty good time. It's quarter after 8. I got about a thousand feet left to go. Just over. I think it's the hardest thousand feet though. Final head wall. Only about 600 feet to climb up there. Just stopped to put on sunblock. Doing good. Definitely not going to make five hours, but I might make five and a half. Just missed five and a half hours. But hey, I beat six. I'll take that. Doing very well already. It's a little hazy down there, unfortunately. That's going to be a bummer. But with the weather pattern shifting over the next couple of days, big heat wave coming down at home, maybe that'll bring a change in the winds and the smoke or whatever this is will go elsewhere. We can only hope. This may be where the great display of shooting stars was that I saw back in 2008 with Arrow Peak back there. On the shortcut trail, the creek has appeared. I still just have flowers to go with it, too. Just across the Kings River right here. A little higher upstream than I did last time I was in the area. Good rock slab to walk across. So I'll head over and find the John Muir Trail now. Over this way. All right, easy enough. I gotta find the Mural Blanco Junction. Here it is. 
first it didn't look like it, then I realized it's down here further. There it goes. Noticing a rather nice smell in the air all of a sudden. Look at this nice tall lupin. Should be just about to the crossing, the first one. Quite a bit of water coming down up here. I don't think that's coming out of Bench Lake though. Could be one of the other lakes you go by up there. I think Bench Lakes Creek will come in down more over here. That's Arrow Peak up there on the left. And I'll be headed up this way. All right, first crossing done. These crossings are a nice excuse to take a little break. And you get to soak your feet at the same time. Feet are feeling pretty good right now. On to the second one where I think we're going to have lunch. Just got back across the other side again. Making pretty good time. Now it's time for lunch. No peanut butter and jelly sandwich today. That's a California Pizza Kitchen pizza. And that is bacon. Yes! Could this get any better? Uh-oh, I think it just did. Pizza and voltage. What a lunch to have in the Mural Blanco. I think I've landed on the trail finally. Took a little bit of searching. There's some new downfall. Just to keep things interesting. Can't make access to Lake Basin easy. Otherwise, everybody would go there. Made it to Cartridge Lake. 2.30. About what I'd hoped. If it's 2.30, that means it's the perfect time of day to go for a swim. There's Arrow Peak, still quite visible despite the slight haze. There's my route up to Marion Peak back in October. That pointy thing above the lake. I don't think it has a name. Oh, we got some shooting stars going off too. And Red Heather. day weather-wise. Well, I got to spend about an hour here at Cartridge Lake. Relaxing and swimming and relaxing some more. Didn't think I'd have an opportunity to do that today. Thought it'd be rush, 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 but I made such good time that I had time to take a nice little break. But now it's time to keep moving. Had about a thousand feet to climb to get up over Cartridge Pass. And into Lake Basin we go. Making my way up. There's Bench Lake over there, across the canyon. Cartridge Lake here in the foreground. Upper Cartridge Lake is up there. Just past what I call the tree hugger element. And I'm gonna push some branches out of the way. No real easy way to go around the tree. 
So you're likely to get sap on stuff, especially early in the year like this. Almost there. Got some red heather down there, but up here, it's all about the Sierra Primrose. Okay, I guess there's still some red heather in there too, but a lot of the Sierra Primrose. That's just up on tall stems with a little yellow center, as opposed to the rock fringe. Haven't seen any of that yet. And there it is. Again. No, I'm not getting bored with it. Just kind of surprising to see it again after so little planning and so little time. This all my trips I've been doing has really paid off this year. comes the drop off. The good news is I don't see any snow on it. This is one of the things I was worried might, might run into trouble with snow, but it doesn't look like it. All right, that took less than 30 minutes. And we are in Lake Basin. Looks awful, but there is a path through it. Still slippery and loose, so you gotta watch out. All right, let's see if we can get a few more swims in. So this is the first one that we call T-Rex Lake. Just jumped in right here. Kind of shallow, not that exciting, but very nice temperature, I must say. I'm hoping with the warmer days the temperatures will get even better. Next up is the middle lake. I did the middle one over there. It was a little bit deeper after I walked out a short distance. So now I just got the third one here. This is the one where we made our camp in 2015. And I just jumped into the third one. Nice little jump off rocks right there. While I'm here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner. So what could possibly be better than Voltage and Pizza at the Mural Blanco? I bought Pizza, Voltage, and Strawberry Lemonade Powerade. in Lake Basin. All right, I'm all packed up again. Ready to head on over to camp. Nice when I get there, I can just set up the tent and go to bed. No cooking dinner. So that's what I call Pyramid Rock. Looks like a pyramid from another angle. So there's our little camp from 2015. what the views would have looked like in the evening. The smoke hadn't been creeping in every night. Adam and I 
camped our last night here. Shouldn't be too far away. Look more like a pyramid now. I'm going into the shade. But here's the Crescent Lake. So camp should be right up here in these trees somewhere, I think. Alright, here we are. Mosquitoes are quite prevalent, probably thanks to that meadow down there. Of course, I'm surrounded by lakes. This is Lake Basin. I remember mosquitoes being a problem before, but I've only been here at the end of August, so that could be why. So I'm going to go filter some water somewhere and then get ready for bed. Day two is here now. All packed up and ready to go hit some lakes before I leave Lake Basin. I decided that since I made such good time yesterday, I can hopefully make similarly good time today. So I think I'll head all the way down to Marion and swim in her first. Passing above the L Lake, what we call L Mountain. Sort of following the old John Muir Trail down this little head wall that separates this lower portion of Lake Basin with L Lake and Grassy Lake from the middle portion where I'm camped. And here she is, mosquitoes and all. Definitely looks sunnier over here. I would probably take this side to try to swim. There's the plaque. Surrounded by a nice growing of the little daisies. Yeah, mosquitoes aren't letting up. There's a lot of dead, sunken wood around the edges of this lake. It looks like we have a new freshly fallen tree there. All right, I managed to get my swim in despite the mosquitoes. Beautiful reflections this morning. So that's almost Marion Peak. The actual summit is just a little bit further behind there. And of course, Red Point. Definitely a good place to spend a night or two to see it in the morning like this. Okay, I finally got myself protected from the mosquitoes now that I've jumped in the water. I'm noticing again how blue this lake looks. I certainly noticed it from up above last year. I can definitely see it from down here too. Okay, back up into Lake Basin we go. Here's the grassy lake.
Had to stop by here since it's so close by. But now I'll be heading over this way to try to see the little lake that's up this valley. Eventually I'll be heading up that direction. Now you can see the actual summit of Marion. Yep, I love this place. I got across the stream. I'm on the little shelf I was hoping to follow. Didn't need to go clear up there. So there's the large leg of the L Lake. So far the terrain's been very manageable. We're going to be coming to the uphill part pretty soon. Quite a bit of bushes over here. So I'm heading towards this area where it looks better. Should be just about there. Looks like it should be an easy finish. Here's the lake I came to see. Not real big, but I wasn't expecting it to be. Looks like it'd be a little slippery, but not too difficult to get up there to where Pyramid Rock's top is. As you can see, it's not really the, the top, but might have a good view of Lake Basin. Some other day, not today. Gotta head back to camp and pack up. So I'm at the corner of the L Lake, more or less. There's no real good single spot to stand and see the whole thing, I don't think. Just hop right over there and now you can see the top of the L.
back at camp. Decided to eat lunch here rather than up at the lunch lake because I was hungry and everything was still out. So now that lunch is over, I've got all packed up, ready to move on to the Dumbbell Lakes Basin. Sure hate to say goodbye to this place, but I'm going to another new place. Should be exciting. Okay, here's the lunch lake. to the path looks just as easy as I remember it. Just stopped to get some water here at the lunch lake. Basically left camp with none. I drank the last of it while I was there. So I figured I better have something. Not sure how quickly I'll find water on the other side. I'm likely to get a little bit thirsty in the meantime. How about that? Some other people. Talked with them for a little bit. They've been over in the Dumbbell Lakes Basin. Gave me some advice on Cataract Creek Pass and Upper Basin Crossing. Basically reinforcing what I kind of already knew. So it's good to hear it again. First up, we have this pass. I think it's about time to say goodbye to Lake Basin. That's Marion Lake. And Marion Peak. We're almost there. Here comes the Sierra Primrose again. There's the Palisades. And the view of the rocks. Uh, got some snow. Kind of what I was anticipating. This guy said that it should be easy enough to follow their footprints. So we'll see how this goes. This very well could be the first time snow is helpful for me. We will see. Well, I was certainly able to make short work of this stretch. You can see the lake. The upper one, too. Looks like it's about to get a little steeper, but it looks like down there is where I'm going to want to bail off to. Looks like pretty easy going. And then try to go around this corner a little bit. Might be a pretty good view of the first lake from there on there. All right. Well, considering what I thought it was going to be like, which is more like this over here, I'd say that worked out pretty well. Now I just got to figure out the rest of it. I don't know if the snow's going to help anymore, but we'll see. There might be some more. Wow, it's a big one. I 
not be in the right spot right now, but I was trying to get a good look at these lakes, at this lake. So my plan for my day hike, I'll be returning through that canyon over there. I'm gonna hopefully camp somewhere in this area, and then I'll go out to my day trip tomorrow over oh, that thing, right right about where that point is in the low spot. I think I'm supposed to go to the little green on that. And I'm hoping today to set up camp and then head up here to see the upper dumbbell lake. First things first, gotta find camp. I think this will work. Can't see everything, but you can see enough to get. Let me think. I want to give it a try. I can just get down there by the snow. It looks low angled enough, and then it looks like an easy cruise around the lake, more or less. At least it's flat. Okay, now I think I can see everything. Looks straightforward enough. Be a couple of dicey steps right here, but shouldn't be too bad. Just take it slow and easy. We're almost there. All right, I'm down. there. Came down right through that little chute right there. All right, now to get around this thing. straight ahead over there. Looks like some cool islands to go out to, but I don't think I'll get to that today. I guess when I came down, I started down this little ridge right here. Not the one up high. And I got down to a certain point where I could see the lake. And then I traversed over here. And then ultimately came down this chute right in there before getting onto the snow. Just barely avoiding the cliffs right there. I guess you can get through, but it's difficult. I'm not sure if I was supposed to go much higher and descend over here. That looks kind of messy. our campsite. So I'm at what I guess you could call the tail of the dumbbell. It's like a little lagoon. I think the actual outflow of this lake is just over this short little bump right in front of me here. You can almost hear it. 
I gotta try to get around it first. So there's the tail. And here's the outflow. Like a pretty beautiful basin down there. Okay, got camp spot picked out. Pretty nice location. Fairly close to the stream over here. <clears throat> it should be well within the legal range of, away. The sun has gone down behind this mountain over here. We're still probably at least an hour away from sunset. Already cooked my dinner on my new stove, which worked okay. I think my dragonfly works better, but this one sure is tiny. Let's see, I may still take a walk up there and maybe visit the handle one more time. Climbed up onto this neat looking boulder. Nice little problem to solve. I think I can get back down again. So this is the, what I call the handle. The narrow part between the two larger lobes of the lake. The sun just went behind the mountain again. hang out here and wait for some alpine glow maybe not sure I'll actually get any alpine glow but it's a beautiful place to just sit and look so there again you can kind of see the ridge I started down to get a good look at the lake. Probably went to that point or a little bit lower. And then traversed across. Probably above that cliff. Ultimately came down a little chute onto that rock pile right in the center there and onto the snow. So if I'd gone further over here, this looks kind of iffy, but possible. Not super steep. It was a little hard to tell when I was coming down if it would work or not. Again, you don't want to end up over here. 
because then you got cliffs to worry about. Or you go around the lake the wrong, the long way, if that even works. Did have a few non-monsoonal clouds blowing through today. Mostly going away now. And that peak back there is Observation Peak. That'll be one of the harder SPS ones to day hike. Well, that went out in a hurry. Unless another cloud came and blocked the sun. Oh well, I guess early to bed, early to rise, huh? Don't think I'm quite caught up on sleep yet. So I can use a little more. Here's my route on this boulder. Get a foot there, another foot here, maybe a foot over there in that little notch. Then it's starting to get a little bit dicey. I try to get one foot up here, and then the key is a big old nice handhold up on top that I need to find with my right hand. Then I can step my other foot over to there and pull myself up. Coming down's not too hard. Just gotta reverse all that. All right, time to head on back to camp. Didn't get any Alpen Glow, maybe we'll get some on these clouds. I'll be watching as I make my way back. Back at camp. No sunset colors in the clouds. Tomorrow is another day. Well now just as soon as I'm ready to go to bed, the clouds start lighting up. Looks like it's just about gone now.
Okay, day three is here. Time to go visit some more lakes. Got my waste pack all ready to go. A few more clouds in the sky today, but they seem to be moving along and not really threatening or anything. I'm prepared though, I hope. So that's where Dumbbell Pass is up that direction. And then tomorrow I'll be heading over Cataract Creek Pass, which is up there. But today I'm headed up this way. So I think the instructions that I read talked about going through some willows, probably up this way. But I was liking the look of these grassy ramps better. Only trouble is, I have a little bit of an obstacle in my way. That should be Observation Peak again. But I should be fairly close to this lower end of the lake. So I'll try to get around it that way. Made it around the lake and have started my ascent. Still plenty of flowers blooming. Got some red heather. And then out pops the white heather. Always nice to see those little guys. Looks like pretty easy cruising through this basin. You can see those cliffs above the lake down there. You can even see a little bit of the Dumbbell Lake. Clouds are diminishing, that's a good sign. Alright, things are looking good. I think down there is where I would have come up if I braved the willows. Looks like I can connect down to it okay. And then just right up there. That's the first pass. Okay, I'm at this pass. I guess they call it Observation Peak Pass. I'm afraid I might run into some snow on this side. And the answer is yes, sort of. But it looks manageable. Can't see the big lake with all the islands yet. That's probably a little ways around the corner. I've gotten around the corner a little bit. Snow is definitely very icy. There is one of the lakes down there. Looking good. That pointy peak right there I think might be Mount Shakespeare. to some grassier ramps again. That's sure an impressive looking peak. I was wondering what it could possibly be. Then I looked down the ridge and saw bump, 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 bump. I went, aha! Devil's Crags!
It's about where they should be, above the middle fork. Came to a bit of a cliff here, but there's options to go around. I think there's even an option off this direction. Looks like I should be able to make something work, but that's not the direction I want to go. I'm going to try to head up these little ramps over here to get a good overhead view of the lake, which should be right below there. That's a mighty pretty looking lake. And a little one above it. I think those green bushes and up there is my exit later today. Let me go out this way. Don't think I want to mess around with these slabs right here. So before we begin the festivities around this lake, I'm going to try to get around it and head over to Island Bird Lake. This is, I think, what they call Lake 10565. So that's Observation Peak up there. And there's my cliffs. Shakespeare. Getting down there. Into a really nice grove of the uh, loudspeaker flowers. Like there's some pride of the mountains above them too. So I could get to play island hopper later today. Just what I'd hoped. Made it down to lake level. Not sure just how many of these islands I'm going to be able to visit. Some of them look a little further away than I thought. Not that good at swimming yet. But hey, it'll be an excuse to get better and come back here. Almost all the way to the other end. Hmm, looks like there's going to be some cliffs on that side. Guess I better make sure I go high. Not out of the woods yet over here either. Got some mighty big boulders coming up. Okay, I've made it around the lake. It's definitely going to be interesting trying to go back on the other side. Well, we'll see if I can do it. Nice little camp. 
campsite here, it looks like. But now it's time to go downhill. Pretty easy so far, but I think I'm about to come to the steep part. Still doing all right. Question is for how much longer? Looks like it's dropping off pretty good right now. Mm-hmm. Just as I was afraid of. Not trivial. Looks like it could be after we get past this cliff, which might be doable if I could get over there. So let the route finding continue. All right, I managed to down climb this little cleft. There may be some other options along this face. Looks like we've got a real nice waterfall coming up too. Any green down here? Definitely a very healthy stream coming out of that lake. Now this has certainly been quite the bushwhacking fest. Hasn't been too difficult, but I'm also going downhill. It'll be real interesting to see what it's like coming back uphill later today. I think I can get onto those hills over there and start climbing up towards that canyon up there. Sure hope so. I think I've started up the hill now. It should be Devil's Crags. Looks like we got a little tiny creek coming down over there. I think there's a slope I want to take up this way. There's the waterfall I went by earlier. It's a long way to have to go back.
This got a little interesting. Nothing I couldn't handle though. Solid class three, maybe a little bit of class four there at the end. This looks more promising. Lots of options. Well, there's the lower lake. Island Bird Lake should be just up here. There it is. Looks like quite an island, all right. on the island and the camera got to go along for the ride too courtesy of my dry sack short swim but definitely get wet got the elderberry red heather and even white heather growing out here can you believe that take a little trek to the other side of the island pay that other little island a visit too, without the cameras. This is the summit of the island. You could say this is the far wing tip. Pretty neat. on the mainland. I didn't overstate my welcome here. I don't want to get back to camp too late tonight. 
quite a challenging trek back. Well, if there was any doubt left in my mind if this was Island Bird Lake, this should answer that question. Looks like Rogue left a register here. He's been here a couple of times. Somebody else. There he is again. Coming for me. There we go. Palisade up there. Looks like I might be able to find a route up this direction. The creek is over there, but it should bend to the right and meet up with me. Because that's probably Mount Shakespeare it's uh, either that one is or the one over here is but either way I should be on this side of that peak might even help me get above the other lake get started going around that too I don't think I want to wander up here though it looks like some good terrain right up that way That stream is probably buried under the rocks by where I am. Doing good so far. I think I've started climbing up consistently. Managed to save myself about 500 feet of elevation loss. Let's hope this works. I like the terrain ahead. Managed to pretty much eliminate all the bushwhacking. So far, anyway. I know the bushwhacking tends to get lighter the higher you go in elevation. It's Devil's Crags again. Little hanging valley here. So I think maybe I want to go up this notch here. Looks like I can go by another lake and it should drop me at the 10.5 fit 65 pretty easily. Looking very nice. Here's the little lake I'm going by. It's a little tricky over there. But the big one should be just over that hill. Not trivial to get around, but not super hard either. Here comes the big lake with all the islands. I think I got time to go swimming too. Well, I went for my swim. It's a pretty good one, too. I just did the islands on this side. So I went to the closer one first, then the one further out. Then I went across to that one. And then I went over here and did most of them. I don't think I did the furthest one. It didn't look like it was easy to get out onto. And then I swam back across here. to spend more time, but we got to get back to camp. My egg 
exit should be up this way, I believe. White Heather's not glutting up. Bunch of it there. Some red heather down there. And a whole lot more of the white heather in here. Looks like there's the two of them together right there. Lots of water coming down up there. Black stains all over the rocks. These are the islands I swam to. Here's this lake I'm supposed to go around. And that should be my pass up there. Looks like quite a bit of snow. It is in the sun, so I'm hoping it'll be soft enough, and it looks fairly low angled. Could get interesting. Looks like there could be some options on the hill. Lake circled, well, passed. I guess circling go all the way around, which I didn't do. Water coming down over there. Right now, it's time to give the snow a try. Well, the whiter stuff works really good. This grayer stuff is a little harder. You can see I made footprints before, but not now. Well, the icier section wasn't too bad. You can see I started making footprints again. I'm figuring it'll continue like that most, if not all, the rest of the way up to the top of the snow. Interesting. We're almost there. Less than 200 feet to climb. Okay, I made it. Well, if the terrain was mostly like this, it's hard to tell if the snow is helpful or not. Didn't slip too much. Now we go into the shade. I don't think this is supposed to be very difficult either. But I think it's going to drop me quite a ways down in the basin. And I just thought there'd be no snow on this side. Well, maybe this will be helpful too, especially going downhill. You can kind of see the difference in colors on the snow again. But look at this. That's all Sierra Primrose.
I'd say this is helping. Interesting, it looks like we're coming to a hole. This is sure pretty in here. I came down that snow to the left. Just had to climb up onto this rock pile to get out of there. We got a stream coming in from up above. Another one coming in there. Another one coming in there. Wet rock over here. Oh goody, more snow. Cute little puddle here. So here's where I've come out of. And I can see down to where I want to get to. My camp is going to be a little ways up there further. So I don't want to go too far down this way. Because that's just going the wrong way. Should still have plenty of time to get back before dark. I don't know if I'll finish cooking dinner before dark, but that's another story. It's steep, but it's going. Like we're just about there. Oh, look at all that alpine flocks. And the mosquitoes have come back too. All right, down to the creek. Steep but manageable. Tonight we might get some alpine glow. Sunset's coming up in about 15 minutes, I believe. Passing by this big lake below my camp. Don't see my tent, but I don't really expect to either. Alpine glow's getting a little better. X marks the spot. Looks like it's just about out. I think we got about five minutes to go to sunset. And we're back, just a couple minutes after sunset. No dumbbell handle for me tonight, but hopefully upper dumbbell in the morning before we go. Day four is here. I'm ready to take my little excursion to upper dumbbell lake. Shouldn't be gone too long, I don't think. But I got my sandals, so I'm hoping to go for a quick swim. The lower Dumbbell Lake is up there. I'll probably swing by him on the way back too, more or less. 
But for now, I'll be headed up this direction somewhere. So I guess you might call this Middle Dumbbell Lake, even though I don't think it looks like a dumbbell. There's the pass. There's another little sliver lake. In case you could almost say this looks like a dumbbell with a handle right there. So I think the route I drew goes more up this way even though it looks like more direct routes can be had this way. Though they look pretty loose and not very fun, so I think I'll stick with the original plan. This looks manageable. From up above there is what I have marked as Dumbbell Lakes View. Hoping to get a good look at both of them. Then I'll descend to the upper one and then go back to camp. Probably take a swim in the meantime. There's my exit today. Nice little valley over here too. Here's the high point I had marked as Dumbbell Lakes View. You can certainly see that one pretty well. You can definitely see the upper one too, but I think there will be better places to see it. I think there's three smaller lakes over here too. Here's Upper Dumbbell. There's the handle. This one looks a little more lopsided weight-wise. Just did a quick swim tour of the three small lakes up here in this little shelf area. Now time to head down and get the big boy. snowbank over there. All right, I've had my swim. This one was a little bit colder. cannonball off of that rock and dove out this way a short distance before realizing yeah I better get back to shore it's pretty cold time to head on back to camp and get ready to climb Cataract Creek Pass more like descend it climbing is going to be a cinch
to say goodbye to Upper Dumbbell. Now the trick is going to be to get back down. I think there were some pretty good cliffs right over here. Packed up, backpacks back on, feeling lighter, that's good. Ready to head out. Cataract Creek Pass, here we come. Quite a few clouds in the sky already, and it's not even 11 o'clock. The monsoonal pattern wasn't supposed to start till Sunday, but I know that can change. Hopefully it'll wait until I get over to Boost Pass tomorrow. Farewell, Dumbbell Lakes Basin. Till next time. Creek's drainage. There's Amphitheater Lake. Right in front of me, though, is Yikes! But I was told you can bypass it on the left over here, so that's what I'm gonna try and do. past the main steep part of the snow, trying to stay on the sand as much as I can. Definitely a lot more difficult with the backpack on. Good, this looks like it continues nicely.